here with Chris again. We're right here in the heart, the center of the operations at Culp Lumber Company in New London, North Carolina. Chris, lots going on here. This is something that landowners rarely have the opportunity to see because it's this is not open to the public. So the tree has left my forest. It's been on the logging truck. It arrives at the mill. What happens now? All right, the first thing that happens when a log truck arrives at the mill is it's weighed in, scaled in with what we call a gross weight. That's the weight of the logs and the trucks combined. We purchase based on the weight of logs, so the truck is weighed in, unloaded, weighed out. That's where a landowner would get their ticket with the tons of delivered or whatever. Um, after the truck is weighed in, it comes back here to our crane. Our crane is going to unload the wood, put it in the pile for storage. We try to rotate that pile to keep the wood from getting too old or mm -hmm. getting blue stain or rotting away. The crane also has to feed my mill. It's going to put the wood, take the wood out of the pile and put it what's on what we call a loading deck. That deck is going to hold trees to get ready to go into a debarker. The first step in the production process of wood is that wood is debarked. It's going to run through a debarker, pull all the bark off. That bark is collected sent out a conveyor belt, and then we sell that for mulch and other uses to help recycle that. No material that comes in this mill is wasted. From the debarker, the log will be scanned and optimized for profit and maximum board footage. There it goes to what we call a bucking system. It's going to cut a tree length log to separate lengths into logs that will go through the mill to be cut. So it's, it will make the final determination on the length that that lumber will ever be, whether it's 10 foot, 12 foot, 14 foot, 16 foot, so on. From bucking, we are going to go to what we call our primary breakdown. That's a sharp chain and a set of band saws. The log will be nailed to the sharp chain and run through a set of chipper heads and band saws that will take off side lumber and make that log into a camp, two square sides. From there, that camp will go to our, our final saw, which is a curved gang saw. That saw is a series of saws that that cant will run through one time and produce all the lumber we get out of it. That gang saw will run approximately 7,000 to 7,200 logs a day through it. From there, the lumber goes through and it is sorted out by dimension and length into drying packs. It's sorted and stacked, and then it is put in the green yard to wait to be dried in the kilns. We will kiln dry the lumber, and then we'll take it to our planer mill where it's planed and graded and packaged for shipping. If everything that goes right and perfect, a log can be received here at the mill today and can be out on a truck going out to its final destination within three days. So we run a pretty tight ship here. We try to move thing here. It's going to take us approximately 100 tractor trailer loads of wood a day to run this operation. That is a phenomenal process, and I had no idea that trees could actually go from the woods, green logs, and could possibly be in the market in three days. That, what an operation. Thank you so much for explaining this to all of us that really rarely get to see this. Thank you very much, Chris. I'm Red Davis with the North Carolina Tree Farm Program.